Okay, hi everyone. Today I want to talk about how to load a piercing saw. Now this is one of our most basic hand tools and um, it's a really useful skill to be able to piercing saw but actually it can be harder than it looks not to snap blades. <clears throat> so I want to talk about loading and piercing metal correctly. So at the moment this is uh, an old blade which I'm going to show you how to take out. Um, I've only just come into the workshop so the blade has been stored only in one um, clasp. That's the correct way to store it because you don't want to over tension your blades if you're leaving them in between times for a few days without using them. So I'm just going to rest it um, against my chest plate and you can use these thumb screws and you, you can undo it manually but if it's a bit tough just use some small pliers and they'll give you more leverage. Okay so that's my old saw blade, I'm going to put that to one side to t put away. If you've got a sharp spin that's the um, best way to get rid of it but it is only tiny tiny blades, sometimes they're so blunt um, it doesn't matter. Um, so now it's time to load the saw blade. Now the thickness of saw blade you choose depends on the thickness of metal you're about to cut. So um, for a size one you want to you be cutting uh, 0 0.8 to 1 mil um, material and if you need to drill a hole ready to cut for like for cutting an inner piece of material then you need a 0.7 drill bit. If you are cutting 0.6 to 0.8 material you need a 0.5 drill bit and a size 2.0 and if you're cutting 0.5 to 0.6 material you need a 0.5 drill piece and a size 4.0 blade. So I'm going to lay <coughs> load using a 2-0 blade. They come in little packets bound together. It can be a little fiddly to get out. So just unravel the um, thin binding wire. Once you can get it started. Once it comes, once you get the end, it's just a case of unraveling it. It's not hard. Don't take it all off because they'll all fall apart, like be a bit messy. But once you've got it to sort of that level, you're able to just pick one out or use some pliers to grab it out because it is fiddly. It's fiddly. I might take it down a little bit more actually. So I've got my new saw blade. <clears throat> I know that it's the correct size for the material I'm gonna cut. And now I just have to load it. So it need, the blade teeth need to go down like a Christmas tree. Now this is really, really thin. If you can't see the individual teeth, run your finger slowly down. And if it doesn't prickle you, then you've got it the right way. And then when you go up, it should catch. It won't hurt, but it should catch your skin. So you know if it's going down, it's smooth, then you've got it the right way. You need the teeth pointing out of the blade because you cut like that. So the teeth need to point that way, ready to cut the material. Now what I do is I secure the bottom first. So I've got the saw wedged in my bench peg and then pressed against my tummy or my chest plate and I just slot it in in front of the thumb screw and just screw that to thumb tightness. So we've got one edge in. Now <clears throat> what you want to do next is you want to press your saw blade hard against the, the bench so that this frame bows ever so slightly. 
and that is because once you've secured your blade so now you I'm pressing it's bowed slightly I'm <coughs> supporting the blade tightening it now if I take it away there's extra tension on that blade it's nice and tight um, but not over tense it's not gonna snap as soon as I I can push it a little bit but it's not bowed because if it's bowed you won't be able to cut very easily um, you'll be doing extra work and it just won't do won't be going anywhere so that is how you load a piercing saw if you are drilling a piece of material to cut inside it rather than going from the outside in once you've got it secured at the bottom you thread you drill your piece of material and then you thread it on to the saw blade support it underneath by putting it at the uh, at the base to where it's most secure and then press again and secure and you'll have it just threaded on ready to do your work okay so that is how you load a piercing saw.